Okie dokie, so now we have a Pinya store set up and ready, but currently we have no actions, which remember are just going to be functions which perform some action to mutate the state. And also, we have no actual state itself. Well, we do, but it's just an empty array at the moment. So in this lesson, we're going to work on the action to add new habits, and that action is going to do two things. First, it's going to save the new habit document to the Firestore database inside a habits collection. And second, it's going to add a new habit object to the habit state within the store so that we can later access any habits in the store within our components to render them to the browser. So then let's start by making a new action down here under the comment to add new habits. And I'm going to call this add habits. And it's also going to be an async function because we're going to be performing an async task inside here. Now, as an argument to this action, we want to take in the name of the new habit we want to add, which is going to be a string value. So then what do we want to do inside here? Well, first of all, we need to make a new object to represent the habit, right? Because the habit is going to be more than just a name that we pass in as an argument. It's also going to have other properties like a current streak, which is how many consecutive days this habit has been completed. And it's also going to have a property called completions, which is going to be an array of dates where the habit was completed. So then let's make a new constant called habits and we're going to set that equal to an object. Now inside that we'll register the name, which we get as an argument to the action, remember? And then we'll also add a completions property, which starts off as an empty array for the completion dates. And then finally, we'll add the street property, which starts as zero. So this is the object which represents the new habit we want to add to the database and also to the local state. OK, so next up, we need to access the Firestore database service so that we can save this new habit to the database. Now, remember, when we created the Firebase plugin before, we returned the DB value inside the provide property, right? And when we did that, Nuxt makes that value accessible then globally within the Nuxt app. And we can access it using the built-in composable use Nuxt app. So then at the top of this function, I'm going to say const and then destructure that dollar sign DB value by setting this equal to use Nuxt app and invoking it. And by the way, we don't need to import this composable function right here because Nuxt makes it automatically available to us. Right. So now we have the DB value, which we can then use to interact with the Firestore database to save a new document to it. Now, the way we do this is by using a special Firebase function called add doc, which we need to import at the top of the file by saying import and then curly braces. Then it's going to be add doc. And it comes from Firebase forward slash Firestore. Now, while we're at it, we're also going to import something else called collection, which is another function which allows us to get a reference to a Firestore collection. So if you've never used a Firestore database before, a collection is basically just a collection of records or documents, as they're called in Firestore. And a collection would normally be for a specific type of data. So like a user's collection, or in our case, it's going to be a habits collection where we store all of the habits documents. So then down here in the action again, we can say await because this is going to be an asynchronous task that we're about to do. And then we use the add doc function that we just imported. And this function adds a new document to a collection in the database for us. And it takes in two arguments. The first one is some kind of reference to the collection we want to save the document to. And the second one is the data we want to save. In our case, that's going to be this habit right here. Now, to reference a collection, we need to use the collection function that we just imported as well. So let's do that right here. And inside the collection function, we pass two things. The first thing we pass is the Firestore DB instance so that Firebase knows what database to look in. OK, and second, the name of the collection, which is going to be habits. Now, we've not actually created this habits collection anywhere inside Firestore yet, but that's OK, because the first time we try to add a document to this collection, Firestore automatically creates the collection for us if it doesn't already exist. OK. All right, cool. So now we're saying we want this collection right here to save the document into. And now we just need to pass in the habit data that we want to save as a document. And that's this habit constant 
right here, this object. So let's add that in as a second argument. Okay, so now we're using this add doc function to add a new document to Firestorm. But remember, we also want to update the state within the Pinya store to have that new habit as well. Now, if we wanted to, we could just add this habit object that we created to the habits array, to this state right here. However, when we use the add doc function to add a new document to Firestore, Firestore does something else as well, apart from saving that document. It automatically generates a unique ID for that document and it assigns it to it. And then in the future, we would use the ID to perform any kind of update to that document or to delete that document, for example. So now in Firestore, each habit document that we add will automatically get a unique ID. And this object here doesn't have the ID. And that means if we ever wanted to update or delete this habit in Firestore, we wouldn't have that ID here in the Pinya store to make that request. Because when we make requests like that to do something with a specific document in Firestore, we need to supply the ID of that document so that Firestore can correctly identify which one we want to update or delete. Otherwise, it wouldn't know. Now, the way around this is by using the return value of this add doc function because it returns what's known as a document reference, which is just a reference to the new Firestore document, which was just added. And on that document reference is an ID property, the same one assigned to the document when it was added. So we can use that then within the application, within the Pinya store for this new habit. So let's first of all, store the return value of this function in a new constant called docref, okay? And then below that, we wanna update the habits property on the store state. And the way we do that is by saying this to refer to the store state itself, then dot habits to access the habits property. Then we wanna push on a new value to that. So we use the push method and we'll push on a new object where we can add the ID property and set that equal to docref.id, which is the ID we get back from Firestorm. Then we just need to add all these other fields from the habit object that we have. So we can just destructure those inside this new object by saying dot, 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 then habits. And that takes all the properties and values from the habit object and adds them to this object right here, which we're now pushing onto the habits array in the store state. Okay, cool. And now we're pretty much done with this action. We're now adding the new habit to Firestore and then also pushing that new habit to the store state as well with its ID. All right then, so now we just need to use this action inside our component, the habit form right here. So currently, when we submit this form, we call this handle submit function. And inside here, all we do is log the name value to the console. But instead, what I'd like to do is call this function right here, this action add habit. So the first thing we need to do then is we need to use the habit store. So we'll say const habit store is equal to use habit store. And you click on this, it might auto import. If it doesn't, then we just need to manually do that up here. So below this import, we'll say import, and then it's use habit store. And that comes from, and we use a tilde to say the project, oops, First of all, we need quotes, then a tilde to say the project root. Can I do this? Can I heck? All right, then tilde. <laughs> all right. So then we go into the stores folder. Then we want to go into the habits file. So we're importing that. We have now the habit store. And then down here, we can just say a wait. Remember, because this is an asynchronous action. Um, we want habit store dot. And then it's called add habit, I think. Add habit, yeah add habits. Then we need to pass in the name, which is this thing right here, the name.value. So copy that and paste it in. And then that is pretty much it. So now when we submit this form, it should call this action, save the new habit to the Firestore database and also update the local state right here. So let's try this out in the browser. All right, so I've got two tabs open right here, the application itself, but also our cloud Firestore right here with no collection or data in it just yet, but we're about to add some. So let's say right here, go for a daily run as the new habit we wanna add. We're gonna add that 
Okay, so nothing changes here. However, if we go to the Cloud Firestore now, I'm gonna refresh this and hopefully we'll see now a habits collection, which we do. And also we have a new document right here as well. So notice this thing right here, this is the ID that Firebase automatically applied to this new document. And inside here we have the three different property completions, which is an array empty at the moment, the name, go for a daily run, and the streak, which is zero to begin with. Awesome. So now we have a new habit. It's not showing here, but we will show those probably in the next lesson when we come to fetch the data. Just so we've got a little bit more data to work with, let's also add a new habit like code daily as well. I'm gonna add that habit, come over here and refresh. Hopefully we'll see that new document as well. Yeah, we see two documents now. Go for a daily run and code daily. Awesome. 